By the early 1880s, Ida had moved to Memphis, and she was still teaching in rural schools, so she was traveling back and forth to work on what was then a newfangled thing, which was a train. One day, she took her seat in what was then known as the ladies' car. It was the second car on the train. They typically only had two, and they were reserved for women. They were non-smoking, they were sometimes more comfortable, and Wells had ridden in them previously, but this particular day, she was told that she could not sit in it. She insisted that she could. She had bought a ticket for that car, and she ended up having an enormous fight with a conductor. He tried to pull her out physically. She bit him. They cast her out. She uh, got a ride home in a wagon and immediately sued the railroad. Her suit wound through the courts for several years. In the lower court she won, the judge said that she was a respectable looking person. She was in fact a lady, so there's no reason why she shouldn't ride in the lady's car. But when it got to the state Supreme Court, she lost. Tennessee was in the process of implementing segregation during this time, which really took shape after the Civil War, so she couldn't win. She was devastated by not winning, but um, it turned her into an activist. That was sort of the beginning of her activism. And it was also the beginning of her being a journalist because she wrote up her experience in a, a church newspaper called The Living Way.